Scott. I'm Chris. I'm Mike. And we're <laughs> two guys brewing. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, this is my buddy Mike. He's a friend of ours from the Blue Brew Club. Brew Club. That, I, I stumbled a little bit of the last time too. <laughs> Tonight, we're going to do something a little different. Uh, it's actually going to be an extract kit. Oh, uh, it's not a kit. It's an extract beer. Uh, but the twist is this is going to be a sorghum beer, uh, gluten free. Uh, I got a friend who's got uh, celiac disease, and she can't drink beer. At least not normal uh, beer brewed with uh, with wheat or with barley. Or barley. And uh, so we're gonna make a beer for her. <laughs> so uh, now this is a recipe I got from uh, Steve down at the homebrew store. Uh, a friend of his made it, and this is the name of this is called the. Dual Spires Black Lodge Ale. So I'll run through the list, the, the ingredients here. Uh, we're going to do it a little different. We're going to play with this recipe a little bit. Uh, but the, the way it's supposed to be done, 3.3 uh, pounds of sorghum. Uh, this, is, this is the sorghum right here that we picked up at the, at the brew, stop, brew shop. Uh, only comes in malt extract or in grain. Uh, I couldn't find uh, malted sorghum anywhere. Uh, so he's either had a mulch your own or go with the with an extract. Uh, and the next ingredient is uh, 3.3 pounds of rice syrup, uh, one pound of dark candy. Um, dark candy. There it is. Yeah, dark candy. This is um, actually a, a brewing ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick it up at your brew store. There's yep, dark mold and candy sugar. Uh, and then uh, eight ounces of black strap molasses. The, the, yeah, it's not black strap. We're gonna like so we're gonna play with the recipe a little. Our molasses. It's just molasses. Uh, five ounces of dextrose, uh, which is basically just corn sugar. Uh, eight ounces of maltodextrin, uh, which is your Sugar. Milk sugar. Yeah, milk sugar solid. Um, and then we're going to, this recipe calls for Irish moss and gypsum. Uh, and uh, five, half of an ounce of yeast nutrients. Uh, Dr. Steve, he says that the sorghum doesn't have a lot of uh, proteins and, and the nutrients that the yeasts need. So you, you want to throw a little bit of yeast nutrient into this beer just to give it the extra kick for the yeast. Uh, and we've got a, one ounce of Cascade and one ounce of Northern Brewer. Uh, and the yeast we're going to use today, um, the recipe calls for a, a US 05. Uh, I've got some Y yeast 1056, which is essentially the same yeast. Uh, American Ale. American Ale yeast. You could use a Nottingham on this, wouldn't, wouldn't be a problem. Uh, uh, this is a 45 minute boil, so. Uh, Keep you know, a little something to keep in mind. Uh, usually we do a 60 minute boil, so a little shorter boil should be done pretty quick today. Uh, and the way they got the ingredients going in, obviously all your, your sugars and fermentables go in at 45. Uh, and then uh, half an ounce of Cascade, half an ounce of Northern at 45, and a quarter ounce of each at 22. Uh, and then at 15 you throw in your yeast nutrients, and at five you throw in another quarter ounce of Cascade and Northern. Uh, so should be a, a pretty quick. Another thing we're going to change on this recipe is the uh, we're not going to use the, the rice syrup. We're just going to use uh, two containers of the sorghum. That's uh, what Steve has. So I just grabbed him. <laughs> I originally was going to make a different recipe, and he talked me into this one, which I think is probably going to be a lot better than what I was going to make originally. Uh, 
We don't have the black strap molasses though, uh, so, but I do have about four ounces of robust molasses and I'll make up the other four ounces out of just some uh, original molasses. Uh, should be fine. It, it's Molasses is molasses. It, it'll change the flavor a little bit. It shouldn't change it that much. It'll be beer. It'll be beer. It'll be, it'll be a good beer. Um, and this beer, oh, actually, I didn't need it either. We're going to, uh, we're actually going to keg this one. Uh, I'm going to take it with me uh, on a trip. <laughs> so, uh, I might have some of my friends at the, at the party uh, that we're having taste it, and, and we'll uh, throw those up at the end. So, it'll be a little young. This is. Uh, this needs to be done in four weeks, uh, so it's going to be a, hopefully it'll ferment out in a couple weeks, I can get into a keg and, and force carbonate it and we'll be ready to drink in a month. It's pretty short notice, I, I kind of, I should have done this sooner. <laughs> it'll be fine. It'd have been better, but it'll be fine. It, here at Dr. Colbrew, we offer a wide selection. Uh, our malt extracts are Brees liquid, Muntins liquids, Brees dry malt extracts, Brewer's Best beer ingredient kits, and we carry a full line of grains from uh, Avangard, German malt, Dingemans, Muntins, Brees, a full line of specialty grains, special B, flake rice, white wheat, you name it, we've got it. And we will crush it for you, no charge. We're pretty darn close to boiling here, so we're just going to... Start adding our, uh, our malt extract. So I'm actually going to add a whole bunch of ingredients here. And all the sugars are going in, all the fermentables. You got your spoon, you want me to stir or anything? Mm -hmm. You want to pour and stir? Have fun. Okay. All right, go ahead. All right. Mm -hmm. Stir in? Sure. So we're going to put in two cans of 3.3 uh, pounds of light sorghum or white sorghum syrup or extract that will get us started. pound of uh, candy. It so looks like actually I've only got about three ounces of the robust. It's looking kind of, I can see how you get white <laughs> out of this. We've got about three ounces of the robust uh, molasses and five ounces of the, uh, the original. All right, Chris. Yeah. The extract's in. All right. Um, oh, there's some molasses here and there's some sugar here. That's fine as long as you didn't, there's no hops in your spent grains. And usually there's not. Uh, but uh, if you drop hops on the floor, don't let your dog eat See the difference here between the Cascade yeah. and the Northern Brewer? Show, show that to the camera there. Okay. Cascade pellets, uh, uh, 
on my, my left and the northern brewer on the right. A much smaller, <clears throat> more dense, compact pellet. Cascade smell a lot more potent too. Yeah, Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me smell the northern brewer first then. It's yeah. more gentle, it doesn't seem like it, then all of a sudden the floral yeah. aspect is so much bigger than, mm -hmm. than that. And Northern Brewer is like one of the German yes. noble hop, you know, family. Yes, as a matter of fact, these are, those are German Northern Brewers as opposed to U.S. Northern Brewers. Uh, didn't really specify in the recipe how much. I'm getting a German one. <laughs> Alright, so we're uh we can put those hops. There we go. So we're we're pretty much boiling. We're gonna call it 45 minutes. Uh so 9.05. Call it. So we're at four we're, we're good. <laughs> there we go. Someone's here with their lights on. Looks like Steve with his guitar. Did you bring your guitar? Ooh. Mike? No, do not. No, uh -oh, you have to go home and get it. <laughs> that guitar plays so free to Mike. You know that? I played that tonight and my fingers yeah. aren't even hurt at all. There's some of my cider and my Hefeweizen in the front room if you want to try it, but it's very, very foamy. So are you singing? I don't know all the words. You know, oh, yeah, you remember I do a I'm singing the song, singing my troubles away, away with the wind. Hey, 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 where did my troubles begin? Oh, where did they begin? I'm telling you why I'm not feeling blue. It's because my troubles have gone. Out of tune, but. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I can't play anymore. So. Alright, 
So our next step goes in at 15. This is 22. That's seven minutes. And we're free to do that. So you're in the gear session. Five minutes. Put our second half set addition in. So next is the uh, Irish moss and the yeast nutrient. We're going to have to measure the rest of the house because we shouldn't have to. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to assume that the, the packages that were labeled one ounce were actually one ounce. <laughs> let me uh, here. Let me throw this other stuff in first, and then I'll put the children. Okay. In. Yeah, I think that's the one that was that didn't seal. So we're going to put in a teaspoon of Irish moss. Keep it clear. And. Uh, we got this uh, this old thing of super fermenting yeast nutri nutrient and energizer powder. Um, and I want this beer to really take off, so I'm gonna just this is like a little more than half an ounce. <laughs> okay, about <laughs> point six. Okay. I want this beer done. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure on the yeast how uh, how viable it is. So we're gonna. All right, so we're good with the. All right, no starting or anything right now. It's boiling, it should be fine, right? Famous last words. It must have cleaned it up really good. Throw that off. Off before we threw those last hops in. I forgot. Okay. We put our hops in. We're sleeping. Well, how is it, Steve? What? Have you tried that beer before? No, never. Oh, no. <laughs> Doing something else with it and uh, some flame out. Got the seeds in the ribs here. I better save them for a beer. <laughs> and, uh, all right. So uh, let's move this puppy over. Are you on, or do you want to film it? I am filming. I turn the camera yeah. back on. Yes. I thought you just turned it off. No, I'm gonna over and turn it on. Alright, so we're gonna move this over somewhere. Well that's not right. Well I got the little tray. That's who? Dog doesn't make me out to the back. See. He's super shy. Hi Dada. I don't know what it comes out. I got it. Oh, 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 oh actually no, you get that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. After all, I agree. you get that side here. You got it? I agree. We'll see. All right. I think we're down below 65. I think we're good. Wow. Not bad. I was putting a, like a one, one leading into the, 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 the hour. I wanted someone leading into that. I didn't want to say part of that. If Scott hasn't said anything, then it's not my fault to say anything. That's very true. I'd say we're 60, maybe 62. If I, you know, you have to be called for what? Hmm? What are you saying? Temperature. Oh, temper. The temperature. Oh. It, it's oh. a. It's it's a. Uh, we're fine there. I'm talking to China specific gravity. Yeah, I am. Oh, it's about 60, it's, 62. So well, oh. what we called for? I'm sorry. Oh, the <laughs> recipe. I was right. I thought you were saying it was 62 <laughs> degrees. So I was out. Asking well, it's long. probably right around 62 oh. degrees oh. also. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, recipe called for 56, but when I put it into Brewer's Friend, yep. it came out at 70 something. Wow. But um, then we changed the sorghum, we, that actually, yep. and I haven't done that yet, so I'm not sure when I swap out the sorghum for those rice solids, what that does to, to the OG. Actually, they came out with, a, with, an, with the FG of like 20 though, and this is saying like 10. So we'll see where it ferments out till. Yeah. But um, I think you'll find the beer you really it's like. It's going to be a big. I'm a little nervous about the size of the beer. And yeah. I don't. I should have. If I had known I was doing this, I would have definitely made don't it. Don't tell your friend that want that you made it for. Let her let her find out for herself. Well, I'm concerned about it not being done. Because it, it's, it's fine. How long you got before you go out there? A month. 
be in good shape. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's, it's a simple. It's a simple beer. So yeah, well, we'll see. Hopefully, I, I would have done a. I would have done a yeast starter for this yeast yeah. if I had known I was doing it yesterday. But as, as I was you not pitching on it, USL five. Uh, yeah, uh, ten, ten fifty six. Ten fifty six. You be alright. Well, it's That's it's funny. an it's an R two from November. <laughs> If I'd have known, if I'd have, uh, been, if I'd have, if I'd have known. <laughs> More biscuits? I haven't had dinner yet. Just put all four in there. In her mouth? So that's yep. somewhere around 60, 62. I can, uh, if, I, if I put the camera on it, I can, get a, <laughs> I, I can read it much better when I look at the video. Greg's, <laughs> right. Greg's, uh, Peppa Bison. Very nice. I've got agave wheat. Agave wheat. Uh, oh, really? I've had an agave wheat before. Yeah, they're okay. And I've got two of those. That's because they're okay. No, they're okay. They're right. okay. Ah. They're okay. They're okay. They're not great. Sure yeah, I had some beers too. You caught that. You know, when I traveled, so like I went down uh, the I didn't catch that one. Ha ha. Ended up buying like a bunch of shipyards, which is a brewery in Maine, right? Oh, yeah. They sucked. <laughs> shipyard? Yeah, that, I bought a mix 12. And, no, I thought they were really None of them were... Uh, yeah, and I've never had a bad shipyard beer, but they haven't had very many either. I wasn't impressed at was all. It, was it a shipyard that made the Longfellow? Longfellow Stout. Oh. Was it? Yeah, I think so. I forget what was in these ones, but... There was like three different beers in there. And, uh, Maybe four different What's the purpose of that? Getting all the yeast off the bottom. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, that was your yeast container. Now, did you spray that down with sanitizer before you put it in there? Yeah, sure. Alright, put the yeast in there already. Everything's in there. So, Steve Remark, you ever take this stuff in the bottom of your boil kettle? It's got the hops and everything in it. And you ever like run that through like a coffee filter or something and uh, use it for starting water? Or you anything, just dump or? it in there and like use it as nut yeast nutrient. Dump it in where? Dump it right into my primary. But you but you put, but yeah, you go yeah, into a secondary. Dump it right into the primary. But you yeah. but he goes into a secondary too. Oh, it, it all settles out. Don't crash your primary. Doesn't matter. Like I said, we got. I think you're right. We got enough room here. We need the top right. That's a better bottle. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a better bottle. You probably can't see it. Plastic car boy. This one could be called better. I don't love it, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why they think it's better. I'm not sure what makes it. I do it like better. the big wide mouth ones they got, you know. They look pretty. I don't have one, but I would like to try one. So, hey Steve, do you have any idea why this is considered a, called a better bottle other than that's just the name of the company? It doesn't break. It doesn't break, it's not glass. Man, it's pretty oxygen. Man, it's the name of the company that makes them. Yeah, they have, they have they have them with valves in the bottom of them. Well, this one doesn't. This is just yeah. a. I, I don't consider this a better oh, bottle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Spears. I'm the owner of Dunkirk Homebrew. We are a local uh, homebrew shop here in the Dunkirk Fredonia area, uh, located at 3375 East Main Road, Dunkirk, New York. We are a full line um, supplier of beer and wines, wine brewing equipment and supplies. Come on down. Most of my customers become my friends. Thank you. All right, um, well, got episode 10 beer here. We uh, took it to the party and drank it pretty good, but uh, didn't get a chance actually to uh, to review it at the party, so I figured I'd do it right now because it's almost gone, and I don't have time to invite Scott and, and Mike over to, to review it with me. Uh, so we'll do it one last uh, taste here before the keg kicks. Uh, with aroma, uh, I gave it a 2. So it has a sharp smell, slightly off-putting, minor hops aroma, and slightly malty. Um, now appearance, uh, I give it a one. Uh, this beer is definitely cloudy. Uh, has poor head retention, but the, but the color is appropriate for a, you know, for a light ale, so we're good there. Right, for flavor, I gave it a three. Uh, it said it's very sharp tasting, uh, either from age or more likely from underpitched yeast. Um, not much hops flavor, no noticeable malt flavor. Uh, likely uh, the malt flavor is being masked by the sharpness. 
uh, poorly balanced. Uh, the finish is okay. The, the aftertaste uh, is better than the overall flavor, but it, it's still not real good. Uh, I'm not loving this beer. Um, mouthfeel, I gave it a three. Um, I'd say the body's fair. It's, the carbonation is pretty good. Warmth and, uh, warmth and creaminess are, are both quite good. And it's really not astringent. It, it just it is sharp. Um, an overall impression, I gave it a three. Uh, drinkable, uh, but not pleasurable. Uh, a few more weeks in the fermenter and more conditioning time might have helped. Um, more appropriate pitch rate would have made a big difference. Um, I'm pretty sure, after some research I've done on, on yeast, that, um, that the sharp flavor I've been getting in some of these beers is because we've been under-pitching them. So uh, uh, there's other issues with over-pitching, but uh, I think I'm going to try and make sure I get a little more appropriate pitch rate going forward. Uh, so in the end, we ended up with a, a 12 out of 50 on this beer.